Okay, uh, marhaba. Hello. Uh, this video will be in English. So, uh, I'm in this video, I want to uh, like uh, just uh, arrived uh, like another uh, Fokker reducer still in its uh, package. Okay, I haven't opened it still in the parcel. And I have also like the topic of today will be uh, about uh, double Fokker reducing which, uh, of your telescopes. So if you have a telescope and you want to uh, stack. Uh, Focal reducers like this one. This is a uh, one from uh, Datasun. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is a one from Datasun. Uh, it's a focal reducer, uh, 0 0.5 uh, times uh, focal reducer. Anyway, so I've uh, here another focal reducer. I will now want to install two focal reducers. Okay, on this. Uh, you know, uh, telescope uh, camera. This one is an SVO Bonnie uh, 105 uh, camera. Uh, now, the reason I'm recording this way with my desktop is that I want to also uh, combine the picture of this camera. Okay, and I have a little guide scope here, which can serve as a, our uh, mini telescope. Okay. to show you that it's a telescope and and of course uh, this uh, camera uh, should be installed on this one here and then uh, we'll see the difference uh, power and of course this will this is a helical focusing so it's a little bit cumbersome to focus but uh, just understand uh, uh, that even if you are, when I add the most uh, more focal reducing, it will uh, make the focusing much harder. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, so uh, just a second. Okay, let's see here. So and the other one that I've bought because uh, has a screw from this side, uh, has a screw threads. Okay, from this side. Okay, uh, the one uh, the one I have in my hand doesn't have. So I want to stack them in the way I put the data on one with the one that's coming from LIDA or LED, LADIA as far as I remember. Okay, I'm gonna now open it and we'll go uh, open it and now st stack it. Okay. That's because I'm looking at my the desktop, I'm not looking at you. So just uh, like mind that please. Okay, find the mind that. So, this is my microphone, but this is okay. We're just learning. It doesn't matter how we do it. Okay. Yeah, I've read about stacking the the uh, focal reducers in some uh, uh, telescopes uh, forum, maybe cloudy nights. I think. Okay, look it up, uh, and you will see the. They, they spoke about it so I wanted to I, I bought another one just to uh, demonstrate the idea and you see how it will go and I'm gonna also make another one uh, another video okay not just with this and maybe with my big uh, telescope uh, Newtonian telescope because this has a uh, like a longer focal range uh, focal length which means that it will give you uh, uh, a wider range to uh, like and like when you use the, f uh, the first uh, focal reducer the half it for the uh, first time then you will uh, with the second focal reducer I expect that you will have uh, to uh, half that uh, half okay so this is it and cool so it comes with them uh, with a, a little you know, plastic box. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Let's use the knife again. Just don't like to hurt things. Okay. Uh, damage it with a knife by mistake, suddenly, accidentally. Because I know it has a way to. But it will take time on the video, so that's why I'm using it. I'm not gonna help myself to put the knife. 
is a very uh, precious knife to me. It's a Victorinox uh, original uh, knife. Okay. Yeah, great. Now it's open. So I can pull it out or push it out, whatever. Okay, great. Come on, come on, baby, out. <laughs> so yeah, I've been waiting for you like two months. And you know, when you send things from China to Lebanon, it will take that long. Okay, cool. So this is it. Now, come on. What's now? Yeah, it's coming out. With it, not want to break the box. Yeah, uh, this is the proper reducer. Okay, here. So, uh, this is the focal reducer again, and here it is. See, it mentions 0.5x focal reducer. I know that the resolution is not that good. But it's in, it's good enough to be read. Okay. Now let's stack. See, now as I told you, it has screw threads here. Okay. Let's turn the last in the camera. I know it has screw threads. Anyway, we can just stack them. Why not? So, you, you'll understand that there will be screws. So, we are cool. They are working together. Okay. And they are fit. See, it's, it's, it's not, it does not go that far in the uh, screw. I don't have to push it too hard. But I know those millimeters are very important in the focusing. Okay, when you insert it all the way to the end. Okay, so I have now two focal reducers. Now, let's test first without the focal reducer, then with the focal reducer, well, then with second focal reducer. Okay. Now we're going to open the uh, studio, GC, GLC view. Now this is this is the camera. See you. And you see on the GC view window. Okay. You just follow my mouse now. Mouse pointer here. So this is the window. Okay. Now it has nothing. So uh, it's, it has no lens. So the only lens it will be the uh, blood scope here. So go and start it. Whatever comes, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just let me open the screws. It's just like, it's just gonna get a picture first. So, I don't have that big space to, to do it. Right now. Okay, fine. That's that's enough. Okay, so you're seeing the windows. Okay, 
that's cool now let's add a focal reducer okay let's add a focal reducer Because I have to put the uh, new one, the LIDAR, uh, LADIO, whatever. I'm gonna put the link of this Fokker user and I'll put the second one too. But I think the first one is, uh, uh, first one's link is very old now, by now. You can find a lot like it, okay? Like uh, it's an expired link. Yeah, no, that's good, it fits. Now, of course, it will be that that window will be f uh, like uh, farther away. It will look, you know, more uh, far from the current image. So I'm going to use this, and of course, we need to focus. Let me, yeah, just show place, same place, same position. I should go far. Yeah, let's let's look for the same place. This is yeah. See the window now is far. Just forget about the the clarity now. It's not because I can't focus it this much. This this telescope is hard to focus. The helical ones. Okay, I'm trying my best. They're just guide scopes. Not meant to be uh, true telescopes. Yeah. Yeah. So I see. Window is not far than before. Now let's try a second. The second uh, focal reducer. See what will happen now. So I will have to focus more. Yeah. Um, try my best. Actually, you can't with this. It's not that easy. You can't focus anything. Because you made this telescope. This is a very weak telescope. Okay. So. Let's see. This is my, this is my phone. <laughs> okay. Because this is something uh, very near. Maybe you can't focus it. Okay. So, yeah. So it, it did do the f double focal reducing anyway. Okay. Let's see where, where, where it's showing. Uh, body so for the, uh, I'm trying to look for the uh, window that we've seen before. I don't think that I can focus it. I don't have any more space okay to elongate this uh, pipe okay like uh, i need more space maybe like put it farther okay see this is the <laughs> this is my pc which i'm recording using it okay so yeah, this means it did do double focal reducing because on the farther stuff you will have to move the focuser more back, okay, more more towards the back, okay, more backwards, okay, like I said, and uh, it's now like making this lens like uh, as if it's a normal glass, just pass through light, you know, a normal plain glass okay, let's see trying to get the, uh, the window that we were we were trying we were shoot.
Anyway, it's it's seriously hard, really hard. Okay, for such things. Yeah, this is my phone, <laughs> which I'm recording music. So, that's all. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, kind of video. Okay, because when I added another, the the second uh, focal reducing uh, reducer, uh, it like uh, made the reducer uh, or made the image unclear. And it means that you will have to go somewhere more into the focusing, you know, like I said, and go backwards with the focuser, okay, like pull it back, okay, from the uh, telescope. This is a weak telescope, by the way. So, what would happen if I used a uh, longer, uh, uh, like a longer focal length telescope, okay, a stronger telescope? Okay, how much uh, can I go? Okay, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, and uh, tell your video, uh, tell your friends about uh, this. Okay, uh, I'll call this video the first test. Okay, and we're going to do the second test later at home.